Let's today speak a little bit about the basics of answering a question in your top tier strategy consulting interviews. Because before we go into all this nitty gritty details and making sure you are also can be perceived as a sharp thinker and uh, that what you are telling the interviewer actually does make sense and is helping you to push the case forward. Let's really speak about and focus today on the basics. Because the truth is, there is so much focus and also information available on questions like, oh, is McKinsey really using an interviewer-led approach? And is BCG and Bain really using an interviewee-led approach? And um, I mean, there is a video covering that question uh, in detail already, but let's not even focus on this, but let's rather focus on the absolute basics, no matter what kind of interview process you are in. And that is making sure to answering the questions of your interviewers on point. Because what we are seeing over and over and over again, and if you watch careful some random YouTube performances, you also will see that, that um, interviewees really get distracted fast. So you usually have a more general and overarching case prompt or question at the beginning. And then later on, you have like sub questions and more specific questions. And sometimes even there is one general question at the beginning. And then there is a very concrete sub question as the initial was the, the first question asked. And what we are seeing over and over again is that candidates are jumping then directly into the more the answering the more specific question and getting completely distracted in terms of the plan that they laid out at the beginning that they wanted to follow in order to come to a solution for the client. And what then happens is they are answering the first very specific question in um, unfortunately often not a very specific way, but that's also for a different video. Um, and then they do not proactively come back to the overarching question of the client. It's like they have completely forgotten about the most important question that has been asked before. It's something we call spontaneous amnesia. And we're seeing this so often. It's having had a discussion with your interviewer where he or she made crystal clear what is important here for the client and how to um, address this and what are the ways th or you could think about this and so on and so forth. And then it's completely gone after you have done something else for two or three minutes in this situation answering a very concrete and specific question. Because what you will need to do you will need to drive the case, no matter if it's interviewer-led or interviewee-led, back to answering that overarching question that has been asked in first place, right? Because otherwise, you, you're losing track of what has been asked to you, what, what you have been asked to do. And that is not a trait you want to convey at these interviews, right? So be on top on the questions that have been asked. You need to, if, if you really need to, note them down and find a way to systematically come back at some point in time. Because, again, what most people are doing is they're getting completely distracted. Um, they are losing the oversight on what is open, what is not addressed at this moment in time. What is, wh where do I spend my, uh, my biggest focus on? This is completely off for nearly 80% of candidates for nearly 80% of candidates, or um, let's rather say at least 80% of candidates. Um, so what does it mean and why is it important? And what does it mean? Please make sure you um, keep uh, always the oversight on the questions that have been asked. Make sure that you are showing that you have everything under control, that you are able to take the bigger picture into account and that you're also able to navigate in between smaller questions and more general and broad questions or directions. That's number one. Number two, why is this so important? Um, because guess what? In a client situation, the client will come into the team room or call you or in a conversation will at least like, I don't know, um, 
every single day maybe derail your focus with like something else they also want to get done, some ideas they want to ha have a second opinion up on, something uh, and some analyses you would like to um, or the client would like you to do on the side, um, some further questions that are not directly related to the scope of the work. And I mean, look, if you are not even able to remember a question from two minutes ago and be able to focus on this, how should anyone trust you that you would be able to focus on the main deliveries in a client context, right? Because the, the focus that uh, is then derailing would also be, it would be catastrophe for the consultancy if you deliver like 10 or 12 other things, but not the ones that have been agreed upon at the beginning. And what you will need to show is first, you always have the overview and second, you are delivering according to the clear priorities that have been discussed and aligned up on at the beginning. And this is true for your case interviews, but also for the consulting work later on. Hope that was helpful and clear and now you do also understand why is it so important to answer on point and to answer all questions and to be also clear on the importance of the different questions that you are answering.